hey loves and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here and in today's video we are going to learn how to make a combat trouser i don't know what people call this so for this trouser i used three yards of fabric i used three yards of combat material so if you are buying by trouser length i think that three trouser lengths will be okay as well three yards or three trouser lengths that's how they sell it so you can see how beautiful this is and this one is the free type we have the other one that normally has an elastic at the down part at the edge or at the hem but this one does not have any elastic but it is very beautiful so we are going to learn how to cut and sew so i will, I will do a freehand cutting for this tutorial so here is the fabric that i'll be using i bought a cotton color or a nude fabric for it you can use any color of your choice but solid colors are actually the best for this type of trouser so i have folded the front part and i trimmed the upper part then i will measure from my waist to my hip from my waist to my crotch depth and from my waist to my knee length my knee length is 20 then to the full length so remember i subtracted two inches for my band before marking waist to hip waist to crotch and waist to knee and the rest so that is it the first thing that i'll do is to rule these lines so i'll rule my full length the hip line the crotch line and everything so at the crotch line i normally take my hip measurements at the crotch line or the hip any one at all but you can take it on your hip or your crotch so i measured my hip divided by four plus one inch seam allowance then i marked a straight line to my waist then my crotch is my hip divided by four anything you got you divide it by four again and that will give you your crotch curve so your hip divided by four then whatever you got divided by four again and it will give you what you will use for your crotch curve so my crotch curve is 2.5 and i connected it to my normal center line so that line right there is the center line that is the center front so i am done with that right now i will go ahead and take my waist measurement that is if you want to take your waist measurements now so i'll go ahead and take my waist measurement so from the center from the center front you can see where i placed my tape the head of my tape from there i will measure my waist divided by four so whatever i got i'll go ahead and add one inch for seam allowance so if your waist is 28 divided by four that is seven plus one inch seam allowance that will be eight so from that waist i will connect to my hip line so first of all you mark your hip line after the hip line after the hip measurements the crotch measurements and then the waist so i don't want to measure the rest of the trouser because the combat trouser will have a loose fit it will be free it is not fitted so you can see from the crotch line i measured a straight line down to the full length and i curved the hip line a bit just a bit and then i marked the straight line down to the full length this is all for the front because this trouser is free but if you are making a fitted bone you have to measure the upper tie the knee circumference and the full length and the ankle circumference so i'll go ahead and cut the front out i will not use a dart for this trouser a dart is not necessary a combat is not really hard to sew so this is all for the front i'll go ahead and fold a fabric for my back i am done folding my back piece so right now i'll place the front on the back so after cutting out the front the back will actually be very easy for you to cut out so i have placed my front on the back and after placing it please leave a space at the waist area you can see that the back is actually longer than the front so right now i will go ahead and come in by two inches from the center front and transfer it to the hip line i came in by two from the middle and i transferred that to to the hip line then at the back also i went up by 1.5 
1.5 is okay or one inch so from that area where i went up by 1.5 i connected back to that two inches that i transferred to the hip side then i'll add to two inches seam allowance around the hip like not seam allowance that is for the back you add extra two inches around the hip line you can see that the back trouser the back is actually two inches wider than the front around the hip line so you can see what i'm doing right there so at the knee line it should be 1.5 inch wider then at the ankle it should be just one inch wider then that is it for the bag then at the crotch i will extend the crotch of the bag by two inches you can see that the crotch of the back is actually longer than that of the front then you make your crotch curve for the back you can see how i'm marking my crotch curve i took out two inches from the center back and transferred it to the hip side then from that two that i extended at the crotch for the back i slanted it down to the knee line of the back then i'll go ahead and cut out you can see how it looks the back is actually wider than the front and that is it for now so right now i'll go ahead and cut out the crotch i will go ahead and cut out a crotch shape that will be for the flap for the flap of the zipper or a fly zipper depending on what you call it so this is what i have it should be like eight inches long and then you go ahead and cover it you can see how i'm covering it and it should be like two inches or 2.5 inches wide as well so this one is 2.5 inches wide and it is nine inches long so i'm trying to reduce it to be eight inches so you can see the shape for the flap of the zipper or the trouser so right now i will cut out the pieces for the pockets you know one thing about combat is that it normally comes with a lot of pockets here and there so this one should be for the front pocket so for the front pocket i want the pocket to be outside i don't want it to be inside so it should be like nine inches long that is after folding or eight inches long nine inches is okay that is after folding and everything because you go ahead and fold the upper part and you fold the side and all that that is for the down for the upper part of the front pocket you don't really have to fold it but you have to do a lot of foldings here and there that is to cover the rough part of this pocket so after that you also cut out the pocket for the you also cut out the pocket for the knee side you know around the knee it will have a pocket at the side so you also cut out a pocket there it should be like nine inches long and eight inches wide after folding like after hemming the sides so you also cut out the cover this is the cover of the pocket so i want it to be just four inches long four inches long then the wideness should be eight like the wideness of the cover and the wideness of the pocket itself will be the same then the length of the cover of the pocket should be four inches i don't want it to be too long but if you want you can make yours to be too long so i'll also cut out another pocket for the back another pocket will be around your butt area for the back so that is what i am trying to do then when you are cutting the cover you should cut it twice like the cover of each pocket to have a lining and you use your fabric as a lining because you have to turn it with the fabric itself i don't want to fold that pocket i want to turn it with the fabric as the lining so here is the pocket for the back part after cutting it i will cut out the cover of the pocket or the flap i don't know what people call it i will cut out the cover of the pocket and i like i said the cover of the pocket should have a lining you will turn the cover with a with the fabric as well so that it will look very neat you don't need to fold it and all that so that is all for the pocket and all that so you go ahead and measure everything just make sure that it has the measurements you 
like so i said for the front pocket it should be nine inches long for the side pocket it should be nine inches long so for the back pocket six inches is actually okay the wideness can be like five inches or six inches as well so i will go ahead and cut out the cover like i said the cover should be should have the same wideness with the pockets itself so that the pockets will not look wider than the cover or and the cover will not look wider than the pocket itself so you can see the cover of the pocket i have what i want now i'm trying to make the sides equal and that is all for now so you can see i cut out the lining as well i have four pieces here so i'm trying to trim everything so i am okay with that now so here is the back part i don't want to join this for now i'll start with the front so first of all we will add our pocket to the front we will add our pocket to the front so i'll place this pocket on the hip area it, is, it should start from the waist and then at the hip then you go ahead and slant it so that it will have same shape with the hip you can see the pocket has um the same shape with the hip curve area so right now you will come in by like three inches and you will make a call for the pocket so after that you go ahead and fold that pocket area you also fold the down part and the side of the pocket because you go ahead and iron you iron it very well before placing it so you can see i have ironed the upper part that is the curved area of the pocket then i ran a stitch to hold it down then i'll place it on this trouser on the for on the front side then i'll go ahead and run a stitch please remember to iron your seam allowance before sewing so i have fixed that pocket now i want to fix my flap or the fly zipper so i'll place the front flap. so this is the first one i'll go ahead and join it to the to one side of the trouser then i'll go ahead and top stitch after top stitching you will place your zipper this is my trouser zipper you place the zipper so that the wrong side of the zipper will be facing you you can see the wrong side of this zipper is facing me then i'll go ahead and run a stitch on the outer part of the zipper on the outer part of the zipper that is the one that is facing the curve of the flap so i am done running a stitch there and if you fold over this is what it will have so right now i will go ahead and join the second flap so i will separate the remaining part of the zipper from the flap you can see how it looks so the remaining part of the zipper is on its own then i will place the other side of the trouser on that remaining part of the zipper then i will place the the, the other flap under it so the zipper will be in between the flap and the trouser itself that is the last part that will do so after that please remember to top stitch your flap so if you push it in it will cover that zipper so you can see what we have there please remember to notch your flap it is very important so right now i will push it in i will cover the zipper so you can see one side of this trouser is covering the zipper right now so i'll go ahead and join the remaining parts of the crotch you know the crotch curve is still open so after doing this i will turn this trouser and then i'll go ahead and close the remaining parts of the crotch curve it will stop at the point where the zipper stopped so i'll use half an inch to close it i have closed it right now and this is what i have so the next thing that i will do is to run a stitch on the front side of this zipper so i want to close the remaining parts that you can see some parts are open then this is it now so make sure that you separate the flap inside just make sure that they are separate so after that you go ahead and run a curved line at the front part of this trouser in order to hold that 
fly or the flap down so this is what we have i am calling it flap so that i can carry you guys along because a lot of people call this flap so that is it here is the back i will go ahead and join the back part with half an inch and i am done so after doing that i will go ahead and fix the pockets of the back so here is the pockets for the back first of all i will go ahead and fold the upper part of these pockets i will fold it i'll run a stitch on it you fold you run a stitch on it then i'll come back and show you guys how to join it so that is all for the back for now so here are the pockets here are all the pockets that we use for this trouser you can see i have hemmed the upper part then you go ahead and iron the sides and the down parts of each pocket you fold in the sides and the down parts then you will iron so here is the cover of the pocket i have turned each cover with the lining the lining is my fabric remember then i will notch before turning out here yeah, these these ones are the covers for the pockets so i'll go ahead and turn out the covers you go ahead and push out the pointy parts so i am done ironing the sides and the down parts of each pocket you can see what they look like i used um water to iron so that it will accept heat you can see the cover so anyone that is wider you should go ahead and iron again so that the pockets and the cover of the pockets will align so that is it here i will pin down the pockets for the back so i am done pinning down so you should come down by four inches from the waistline before fixing this pocket then after running a stitch around the pocket i will go ahead and fix the cover and i will top stitch the on the cover like i'll top stitch the cover so that it will stay at a place so here are the belt holders they are three three inches long so i will go ahead and shape the front part of the trouser and the back part so i will shape just the side i used one inch i used sorry i used half an inch to shape the side of that trouser and here is my band i have a two-piece band the, my band is two pieces so you can see i have joined this trouser i have joined only the side the center of the trouser is still open so you can see the back and you can see the front i have not joined the side pocket that is the knee pocket i have not joined it so right now you can go ahead and iron the side of this trouser then you will mark where you want the side pocket to start from that is the knee pocket so i want them to start around 18 inches and then they will come in by four inches from the side seam four inches will be will face the front and four inches will face the back then i will open it up then i will fix my pocket you can see this pocket is eight inches wide so four inches of the pocket is facing the front side and four inches is facing the back part so i will go ahead and pin this down and i will also fix the cover of the pocket so i will go ahead and pin down the other side then i will fix the cover as well so mark everything before fixing so that they will align right now i am done i will go ahead and close the inner part of this trouser that is the middle the center i will go ahead and close it with just half an inch please as you are sewing be trimming off the excess thread so i am done right now you can see our zipper so i will go ahead and fix my belt holder now first of all you fix your belt holder around the waist so you are free to determine where you want each belt holder to be i want two to be at the front two at the side and two at the back so i have a total of six pieces there 
so after fixing that i'll go ahead and fix my band i told you guys that i'm using a two-piece band so you can see how the belt holder and how the band is looking so you go ahead and hold down the belt holder at the upper part of the band so here is just one piece of the band so after doing that you go ahead and turn that band with the second piece of the band so here is what i have i have turned the upper part of the band so i'm making sure that everything is okay so you can see what i have so using a two-piece band is actually okay then i'll go ahead and fold in this band and i will sew down and that is it for now and after ironing this is what i have i hope the trouser is looking so beautiful so guys our proper trouser class is still ongoing you can register we have our corsets our blazer jumpsuits ibo blouse classes as well so i hope this class this video is helpful i hope it will be very helpful so you go ahead and iron very very properly you can see that you can see our side pocket please if you are sewing this trouser make sure that all your stitches are very very neat it is very important so guys please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified also please please subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video bye